What's up guys, Julian here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to capture professional audio for your Facebook live stream that you do with your phone. In this particular case, I'm using an iPhone. So what we're going to need is, is a lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter. That's this right here. You see the end there and there. You're also going to need a TRS to TRRS cable. That's this guy. This particular one is made by Rode. One thing to note in particular is that it has three black lines on one end and then the other end has two. So what you would do is you would connect your lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter to your phone and then you would connect the TRS to TRRS cable to it. The three lines into the 3.5 millimeter adapter. And then you would connect this end to any professional audio device. For example, I have a Zoom H4N. I can, it's got external microphones and it has two dedicated channels here. And what I would do is I would plug this into the headphone jack because I'll be capturing audio from either the external mics or these dedicated lines. And then I can control the volume. I can see how loud each channel would be and then I can control the volume of each channel and then as well as the output would be sent to the phone through the TRS to TRRS cable, the 3.5 millimeter to lightning adapter into my phone. Another option that you can use if you don't have a Zoom H4N, uh, this, is, this one's for particularly for reporters or anybody that's uh, wanting to be you know, somewhat of a distance away from the camera. They don't necessarily have to be up close to it or if it's really somewhat noisy around them and they want to have a dedicated microphone on them. Uh, this particular case, you can use, for example, the Rode Link, which has the uh, transmitter and the receiver. And so what you would do is you would connect the receiver to that particular Rode cable I was telling you. Receiver turned off. I'll turn it on real quick so you can see that. So there's that. And then the transmitter, which would be on you or the person that you're interviewing, would have a lav mic. And then of course, you know, run this under the shirt or over the over the shoulder, tucked under the collar, and then of course you clip it right up here. and then you'll be able to get real nice, clean, professional audio that you would be able to stream to your Facebook Live. A lot of times what I notice when I see people's Facebook Live is that they're just using their phone and they're holding their phone out and they're talking and or got their phone on a stand and it's like you hear, because the phone is at a distance from them, you're hearing a lot of ambient noise around the phone and it's kind of uh, overpowering the, the uh, voice of the people that you're trying to capture, the people that's being interviewed, or even you. So with this lightning adapter to TRS to TRS cable with the road link, or even the Zoom, you can run a dedicated microphone to you or some microphone that you'll have in front of you and we'll be able to stream really nice high quality audio to Facebook or any online streaming service that you want. One, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, check. Microphone, check. One, two, three, test. Testing, one, two, three, check. Testing audio right now on Facebook Live with a wireless mic. Testing, one, two, three. Another thing that a lot of people like to do is that when they're holding the phone, they don't realize how much vibration and all that's going on. So 
a thing that I would like to recommend is to is to go out and get some kind of steady gimbal. They're very affordable now. Uh, this particular model is made by DJI, DJI, and it is the Osmo Mobile 3. I've got other videos on my YouTube channel where you can see examples, but this will stabilize your phone and you can still have you still have room to put your connector on the end of it you may have to get a little bit longer cable but what this will do is you can stabilize it okay i'll turn it on in just a second that say if you had a person that was holding the gimbal and the phone while you were interviewing somebody so now I have the uh, receiver transmitter would be on somebody or on the person that you're interviewing and then you have stabilized phone for your Facebook live stream or any kind of live stream that you're doing. This is not bumping anyway into the gimbal. So that's a huge plus. So that's one example of how to capture professional audio to your phone for Facebook Live. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can stay notified for any future videos that I produce and upload. Alright, see you guys. Have a nice evening.